All right, making sure my audio stuff is working. It is. Okay. Hello, and welcome to Squad Ops Operation Violent Valentine. I am Killer Man Time, your host for tonight's operation. And I might as well start going over things before I end up not being able to actually do anything because this is going to be long for the Russian side. Uh, let's go straight over to commands for tonight. For the round one, for the round one, interesting. For round one, Russian side is commanded by X-Pit with his two IC being Wayne Newton, his four other SLs being Decrum, the Alpha Guido, and Razor, and Nas. For the US side, we have command being Londarts with his two IC being Krusty, and his four other SLs being Sven, Adukin, Frost, and Rubba. That is my phone dinging because I forget to mute things. Anywho, moving on to loadouts for the Russian side. There are three currently on screen. We have the Russians' flowers loadout. If they choose that option, give me a second to pull it up. All right, so for the flowers option, uh, the Russians are kitted with squad level 1 SL, 2 FTLs, 2 ARs, 1 medic. Uh, vehicles, none. And for support... They get six artillery smoke barrages with no fiber logistics. For their next option, which is candy, they have a loadout of one SL, two FTLs, two ARs, two LATs, and one medic. Oh, I forgot to say for flower, they also get a four RPG. Hold on. Uh, they get platoon armory, gets four RPG 26s, and four ammo bears, and two MGs, and four engineers. Moving back to candy. Uh, Candy, once again, uh, gets for, for, yeah, for Platoon Armory, two RPG-26s, two Ammo Bearers, and two Engineers. Vehicles consist of two MTLB NSVTs, one BTR-80, and one Trans Truck. No Fiber Logistics. And support consists of two Artillery Smoke Barrages. And moving on to the last loadout type, which is going to be Diamond. Diamonds. Uh, which consists squad level, 1 SL, 2 FTLs, 2 ARs, 1 medic, and platoon armory consists of crewmen as needed. And they have for vehicles 2 BTR 80s and 2 trans trucks. No fiber logistics and support is also none. Moving on over to the US side, which is a little bit more simpler to uh, go over because it's, you know, the US, we're not that difficult to understand. Anywho, uh, the infantry for the U.S. side is, consists of squad level, 1 SL, 2 FTLs, 2 ARs, 1 Medic, Cupid's Arrow option, Platoon Armory consists of 4 LATs and 2 HATs for the Broken Hearts option, Platoon Armory, uh, 4 Engineers, 4 LATs, 4 Ammo Bearers, and 2 MGs, Vehicles, none for either option, uh, FOB and Logistics consists of a Radio FOB and Sandbags. Outside of that, that is pretty much it. The I guess I need to go back up and go over uh, rules before live and objectives for the Russians, just so we have a little bit more idea, because we're going to be fighting the Russians tonight. So I will do that while you get to gander at the op map. So the Russians before live, uh, Russian leaders choose platoon type, uh, Russian spawn at main. If Russia chooses platoon type flowers, they move one or all squads to each of the three garden locations, D422, F647, and F717. Uh, Russian, uh, Russia starts at main, uh, unless they choose flowers option, in which they start at one or all three garden locations. Uh, marked by red boxes on the map. As you can see there, there are four boxes in the north, uh, east, and west. And in the middle there is the compound. Anywho, moving on, going over the op itself. Uh, going over the mission objectives for both teams. U.S. forces uh, start at various locations uh, U.S. must protect neighborhood, which is marked in that yellow area on the map there. And I might have to skip this and bring y'all in because it looks like we've got a lot of the Russians being brought in for briefing. No, I got some time. All right. Uh, U.S. forces lose control of the neighborhood. They must eliminate the Russian forces that hold it. Russian forces must clear out the neighborhood and of the militia forces. Yeah, it's basically a kill all or be killed uh, type situation. 
And we are live. Except for one of the MTLBs is missing a gunner. So, this could be fun. Yeah, I mean, tell me, is they taking? Absolutely. Uh, okay. Well, they've already got three MTL Bs. Okay. Well. Not gonna pick it. That'll be brought up in after brief or whatnot. Well, let's pick a vehicle to follow. at the bridge. Copy. Uh, Wayne, what section are we dropping off to the left at? Are we basically breaking south to hit, like, Echo 47? Delta 49 area? Yeah, I'm on shell gun. That's up to Wayne for his north approach. Yep. Yeah, I'm going to direct. Yeah. Let's see here. Ooh, this is going to be interesting. And for anyone that's wondering what uh, loadout the Russians took, if I'm not wrong, they're running Operation with uh, the Candy loadout. Which should have been three MTLBs and uh, one BTR-80 and one trans truck. But last I checked, we've got a BTR-80 and four MTLBs, so I'm not sure what's going on there. Maybe the tram trucks are broken? Oh boy, that's the reason why you don't all hop out at once. The BTR 80 is pulling off after dropping off. Copy two. Let's see if the US forces will have anything in this direction. Honestly, it doesn't really matter because they are going to be entrenched. In yeah, this no. little neighborhood here, when you get at that turn past the airport, just do you have a couple individuals here? Let's see here, he's looking down the train track, so that's probably going to be detrimental. Uh, we've got a bush warrior here looking into town. Might be able to spot the Russians coming. Depends on which route they take. Uh, let's see what's over here. Got another bush warrior. Got two bush warriors. Three bush. Nope, that's a fence. Uh, ha ha. Nope. U.S. forces just waiting on the Russians to show up now. Prella, what you going to know about? What have I done? What have I done wrong? Yep, copy that. Jim passed. Move, yeah. Let's spread this to get a call out of two lights facing south at the edge of these buildings. Um. I honestly. Move past you, go ahead. Have no clue. Uh. If you are banned from the Discord server, that is something uh, I yeah, can't help with. Generally. If you were banned from one of our game servers, you would message one of our uh, event staff, not event staff, uh, community staff members and uh, appeal the ban. Uh, for a Discord ban, though, I have no clue. Uh, seeing as you wouldn't be able to actually message one of the staff members. 
Might I ask? No, wait, no, I shouldn't bring this up here. Um, better yet, Prelon, private message me your Discord tag and I will bring it up after this event. One, two, four, five, to secure the I can't promise four, anything two, out two. of it, but uh, it's the best I can do. Understood. One, understood. All right, let's move it in, boys. Let's go ahead and push up to the bridge this mount and then uh, we're gonna do infantry clear after the river south. Yeah, send it through Twitch. Russian force is getting lined up. Command Not sure if this now. is their assault position. Oh, elements be advised. I uh, got pretty good eyes on the area. Um, the gas station. I see no enemy movement from my post. Actually, uh, if you look through the viewers, you should see a. Actually, here I've got it covered. Yep, not that button. Once you start reconning area to your south, you see about moving your guys 150 meters south. Understood, Wayne. Uh, squad 3 and 5, I want you guys patrolling 300 meters to the south to the intersection, and then we're going to pivot and look east. Copy. I want 3 on the north side of the railroad tracks and 5 on the south side of the railroad tracks. Use that um, account. Copy. The MTLPs across the bridge. Once you guys secured those buildings on the far side, yes. You've definitely been spotted on the north. I got eyes on infantry in the town. Two-story green building looking at us. Copy for it. And we've got first contact here between the U.S. and Russian forces. Hobo cop getting a little lit up alongside one pump. And we've got the ground forces to the west. The Russians moving up. The south side of the road tracks, and want you to form a squad lines, and we're going to start moving east in two squad lines. Copy. Let's one. zoom out and get an overall image of what's Go going ahead, on here. Hey, we're in a good platoon line right here. So we're on the left, we've got the U.S. forces in their uh, that west defensive side. positions. Copy and on that. the right, we we've got the Russian line the getting ready to assault. Do we want to one one in fire? Have a good one, Prella. Squad 2 is engaging contacts near the Delta 533 barn. Currently nothing to our east. Three to four bullet bursts. Okay, I saw your hand. Yep. Uh, 
Uh oh. Looks like we got a first casualty on the Russian side. Could be wrong there. I wasn't really paying attention to the U.S. Guys, we got contacts east of us at like 200, 250 Alright, copy that three. Go ahead and move your MTLBs up and use them to suppress those Nah, contacts. you'll be fine, Ishmi. Remember to keep a screening force to the south, three and five. Uh, I've seen them defend with more, okay, or with less, uh, KNRs. U.S. forces, or really anyone, uh, depending on who is commanding and who is playing, can usually defend pretty well regardless of what cover they're in. Now, if there was artillery, that'd be a whole nother ball game. Sadly, all they've got is smoke. I think, uh, with this loadout, they've got two smokes. Two smoke barrages that they can use. Not sure if they'll use it or not. And the Russian forces down on the west side is finally attacking uh, the refinery. Oh, this is and they brought up one of the MTLBs. Uh, looks like we've just lost Cyclone on the U.S. side. Not looking good for uh, one of the commands. Russian forces still haven't quite done anything over here in the mid-ground. We shall keep an eye out, unless they've died already, which then I am sorry. <laughs> As far as I can tell, this is Charlie six, six, what the Russians are doing, yeah. Pretty much they are just one wall pushing in on the point. Which, I mean, there's nothing wrong with that strategy. Sooner or later, there will be a hole poked in the defensive line. And I think the weakest point right now is the refinery because there are, what, one, two... Three, four, five, five, six, seven, seven. Starts coming down. I want you to eight. One of your squads. I don't care who. Uh, actually, Decrum, since you're still up, go ahead and push your squad into the smoke. Three. Seven. Okay. My bad. Seven people in the refinery right now, with a massive hey, open space in between. Please here. Yep. You where do you want us? Yeah. Get, just How is the, the round? The well, let me tell you. So um, there's a line of Russians down. not rushing, Already and a bunch it. of oh, U.S. soldiers guys, sitting down. in a field. So. Which is north to south. Uh, facing the U.S. forces is south. Facing the Russian so forces is north. And it sounds like we got some smoke coming in. Not sure where. And there's the beginning right there. And this will be the Russian push. Looks like they dropped both barrages, maybe? No, they've got one massive one coming in. Yeah. Looks like, yeah, one big smoke barrage coming in right here on the middle. Russian forces are finally going to do what their name states. <laughs> Depends on how many people actually make it in, though, uh, into the compound. Looks like we're going to have Matt Honcho and Alpha Guido's group here. going be the first ones to technically enter the compound. No contact over here. It looks like the U.S. forces have peeled back and condensed middle of the, uh, little community. Checking off in the distance, it looks like we've got some Russian forces coming up on Dorf and Nightmare. This could be interesting. I'll come back to that in a moment. Russian forces, it looks like they got stopped. Half the uh, forces did not get across. And 
Russian loss of life going on here. to our south. No, but we can toss a grenade. Well, that's an interesting that's way of, uh... Oh, I can... Are three last, we need more smoke. Grenade. Uh, nah. I don't think that's a good spot, huh? Command repeat. Interesting. They didn't go inside the building. They went up the, uh, outside ladder. And, oh. Oh, no. <laughs> Alpha Guido's squad just Got got four. knocked. That is not good. Is down to four infantry effective. <laughs> not looking so hot for the Russian uh, forces this round. Thank you. My squad's been wiped. I'm down to just a buddy team in my MTLB. I'm gonna um, take a buddy team, see if we can sneak in on the northeast corner of town. Just cause a bit of a distraction because we can't push. Go ahead, one. Four has been wiped. Two is relocating. Squad one's gonna hold position while squad five and three try to pivot to the south. How do you think? I like it. Alright, let's go, yeah. boys. I'm not sure if there are any mines in this one. Uh, it's a possibility. And here comes their second and last smoke barrage for the round for the Russians. Hey, John. Um, so the way basic works is that is our entry ticket into these operations, not so much our public servers. We have a couple of those running. So if you're just looking at playing on our servers, we've got those open. If you're looking at getting into these ops specifically, that's what basic's used for. Basic is just our way of teaching you the way we run our operations, um, how we do things how things are done in the most, what we would call the Five, most efficient one, manner possible. Um, then we have advanced, which goes over a little bit more uh, in-depth things um, advised, along the lines of if you no are, let's say, yet. the last person alive and your squad and you are given squad oh, or command comms, uh, what to do with that yeah, and how to conduct control. yourself. They're really just guidelines that we require you to Straight take before you can control. get in on these events. Squad one, you may be able to rotate around and come in from the south. Copy five, we're trying to come in on your south flank at this time. Be advised it's not clear, I got contacts to my west. Yes, nice call there, Lagar. Yes, looks like the Russian command has been knocked. This is not looking good. The U.S. forces is doing a fantastic job of soft defense, having a little bit out far, and then once things started getting hectic, pulled back to more defensible positions. Um, let's see here. They still got a bunch of the uh, Russian vehicles still up and running, though. And that could be detrimental later on in the round. And as 
as Ian has stated on the YouTube chat. Uh, do the basic training. Well organized, efficient, informative, and fun. I'll go with everything except for the fun part. I don't know, it depends on your... Yeah, this could be bad for the Russians because I'm looking at a three man, four man crew coming up. Oh, wait, we got an MTLB down, so that's scratch one off the list of MTLBs that the Russians can use later on in the round. But we've got a crew of four on the US side coming up behind the uh, Russian forces. Uh, looks like the Russian forces are making some headway. No, wait, that's just gnats. No headway made. Mm, almost got a uh, MTLB down here. Looks like it's missing some wheels, so it's probably stranded. Five one. Go five. What's your strength? We are three effective, currently pinned down in the small bunker. Copy. We're going to take about five minutes to swing around your your south side here. Copy that. We'll drop our... Uh, Four, one, one, two is on and the it looks side. like MTLB number it's, uh, two, three is two about to uh, lose any of its supporting ground forces. Copy two. For now, continue to engage point targets, but do not bounce them out at this point. In order for you to try to have a... Lots of units just got knocked out there. That MTLB is not careful. It might get hit by a ladder or a hat. Strong contact with the D657 compound. Not really going to call that a good position. What are you doing, Rubba? Hey, I, I need you here, bud. We need you. Uh, I have a stairway completely blocked off by a sandbag wall. Oh no! Hey, <laughs> Rubba taken down by Seneca coming around the corner, yeeting it. Oh, yep, I see him. Oh, he's still got kimchi out here in the field, though. Are we, uh, are we at Oh, down goes Seneca, so that was... Not good. All right, so we got Decrum left in the building with an MTLB outside. Kimchi taking fire. And Decra is now command of five. Now looking at, there's not a lot of U.S. forces left on the round. Uh, but in comparison to what's left for the Russians, they are numerous and belirid... Well, I was trying to make a joke, but I'm just going to say screw it. My mouth does not want to work with me today. This is round one, Animal Zone. Uh, we have not quite gotten to round two, and it looks like we've lost two U.S. forces in this house, finally. Um, that's, uh, not sure if I should say that out loud, but the U.S. forces are Spawn taking some number hits. Wayne. How we looking, boys? Kimchi's still surviving out in the middle of the wheat field with a MTLB uh, sitting right next to him. And Decrum, last we surviving member of the squad on. five. Looks like the U.S. forces Good are man. pulling in a little bit more tight. What is going on over here that there is a bounding of... We got a smoking it. Does anyone have BTR any 80? eyes on squad 2 in the BTR? I'm not, I don't know, I didn't hear They don't have an FTL in there. We don't have any connect on them. Uh, negative no eyes across the, uh, the village here. Yeah. 
Jackram, you got a Nimbra pushing three. towards you oh. across the field. What I, right what I want you to do is I want you to push east into the area to my, just to my southeast. And, and uh, looks like we've got some uh, vehicle hunters coming in. At the same time, squad one, you're going to be pushing north. Nochin 87 is going to be too close for that to activate the head. Needs to be a bit further away. I think the range on that's about 50. Probably further. Um, been a while since I took sight. <laughs> I need to go and do that. Uh, but that is what will happen if you are too close to your target and you shoot a lat or a hat. The warhead will not uh, activate. If you are too close, you'll just end up dinging it off the hull. And looks like we just lost Decrum. Decrum is down. Kimchi finally got him after the BTR 80, or my bad, MTLB. Uh, stopped being next to him. So it looks like the U.S. Forces might have this in the bag. We've got a BTR-80, MTLB. Uh, who else we got alive here? Uh, Block, Liberal Pundit. Uh, and two more over here in the factory zone. Two more on the eastern side of town. And that is pretty much it for the Russian side. This BTR-80 has got literally nothing except for one tire. Look at this. And down goes the repairman. Well, that is one stranded BTR-80 now. Uh, guy in the gun turret was not paying attention. Wait a second, guy in the turret's freaking Scottish chap. What's wrong with you? Is it 90 meters minimum? I think we may have changed that specifically on the server. I'm not sure. Do we have any idea where the radio is? But yeah, sure, let's go with 90. 90 is a safe distance. Maybe, possibly, probably not. No, 40 would have definitely gone off where he shot that lap from. Um, maybe it wouldn't. I'm not very good at judging distance, so this is a really bad conversation for me. Uh, let's see here. MTLB is moving off, going over to where the other two? Or is it three? Two uh, Russian forces are on the other side of the neighborhood. Uh, let's see here. We've got... Rather Scottish chap still sitting in the uh, BTR-80. I think everyone has pretty much just given up on that BTR-80. Except for Kimchi. Kimchi's just waiting alongside Krusty. And a couple of other US soldiers waiting for uh, someone to hop out of that vehicle because it's not moving. Same can be said for this poor, poor, tracked MTLB over here. Uh, when it says one life, it means when you come in and you die, or more specifically, if you uh, get shot and you go down to the point where a medic has to come and pick you up, that is counted as a death. You are not allowed to be picked up. It is one life. Uh, you can bandage yourself, you just can't be revived. Um, so, the life you spawn in with is your only life. One life. I guess that's a roundabout way of saying yes, you only spawn once. Never get out of the BTR. You have to get out of the BTR. If they don't get out of the BTR, uh, well, put it this way, I've seen the event admins do some interesting things. To Is he seriously? Scottish. Scottish, let it die. It's only got one wheel, man. Uh, 
Let's go see. Yeah, there's a mine right there. Um, also, we were taking shots from where the BTR is coming from. Yeah, there's another mine right here for the MTLB. Um, there are also rules for digging down mines um, or putting mines down. You can put them down, but the blasting cap uh, or the trigger cap has to be visible. You can't just like dig it till it's not viewable. There are certain rules in place uh, for that. If it is below the map, it is out of play. So I'm trying to take out the tire. The last remaining mobility unit for uh, for Scotch Chap here driving the uh, BTR-80. We got Fizgo playing uh, chicken. Sven getting knocked out because he poked his head out when he wasn't supposed to. Fucking sure me. We're just gonna stick with Scotch because I'm honestly this is the most interesting thing I've seen so far. Ricky PR getting knocked out. <laughs> I don't know if anything interesting is going on. No, it looks like the crew has ditched the uh, uh, MTLB and is moving over to Scottish. We have no more command comms because command is dead. And someone just bounced a smoke off the top of the MT or BTR. Fields, I just had a smoke grenade thrown at me. Checking west. I'm surprised no one's tried to just take a pot right? shot with a lat on this man. Hey, Wait, do any of them even have one? Let's see your Fizco. No. Lawn darts. No. Anyone got a lat? Maybe a hat near this thing? No, it does not look like it. So. The limping BTR-80 still survives. Honestly, if they pull this off with this broken BTR-80, I will laugh so hard. Rio's, you still up? All right, vault over that fence yeah. there, and we're gonna, uh, you know, you and uh, Taintless clear that blue house. I'll clear this blue house. No one in there. Got We've the got Fizco in here. here. Oh, oh trading. Oh. One inside the house, or where? Yeah, yeah, he's in this, he's in these windows right here. Do you have a grenade? Roger that. Uh, yeah, I do. He is already down, guys. Already down. What is... I'm not insane. Y'all were seeing the green thing too, right? He's checking here. Okay, he's down. Okay, good. Um... Alright, let's, uh... The repair kit has limited repair. Um... You can get to a certain point, but I don't think it would have enough in it to repair everything... Uh, on the vehicle. And yep. you cannot take vehicles back to Maine for repair. The in there. Don't go in. Um, Roger. Uh, three so it's either A, your engineer is still alive and it can repair it partially, uh, or B, it is uh, that's too close. Damn. Say again. pretty much Squad immobilized one, and it becomes a gun position. Roger that. In most cases, if it becomes a gun position, they abandon it. We'll link up with a four man fire team. Unless uh, Liberal, uh, you, you want to take the uh, south side of the road? We think we have enemy contact. Green to our yeah, we got a lat through the window. Did that even hit anyone? You guys out, south, nope. South silent. Building. Doing the smart thing and hiding in the back room. And there is no one on the bottom floor. All right, Rio, I'm on the door. Alright, here we go. We've Roger got breaching on you. Silent's building. Can they take out the man, the legend, the silent? Probably not, because now they are getting shot from across the road. Down goes Rizo, uh, Rizo from Silent. Um, Thelius is moving up the stairs. Nope. Yep. Don't do it, bro. Tossing a nade. Wrong room. Oh. Oh. Actually, 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 actually. And down goes materialist. Oh. 
Ah, butchered that name, but oh well. And rather Scottish Jap still hanging out in the BTR-80. Silence still alive up top. And, uh, yeah, not looking so hot for the uh, Russian forces. Who's left? We've got Liberal Pundit in cases. So this is uh, not looking too hot. Either A, the event admins are going to tell the Russian forces, specifically oh, rather scarce chap, to get out of the vehicle and push on foot. Or B, he's, they're going to tell the U.S. forces to come and all over this poor BTR-80 that is stranded in the middle of the road. Honestly, I want B. I want to see B. The admin cams have the nasty nickname of Nats because they are annoying and I can't get rid of them. I am sorry. <laughs> and it looks like Scottish Jap is trying to drive the BTR-80 even further down the road, limping along on one tire. Some people jump into admin cam, some just come straight to the stream. Um, but yeah, you could look about 90 or so, probably, is the amount of people uh, floating around right now. Did someone just... All right, I will also mention this. If you are dead and you are in admin cam, do not use local comms. Those are bound. You can be severely punished uh, on our server for that. Um, we do not take that lightly. Um, usually the first offense is just a message um, after the event. Um, any more after that will probably lead to a permaban from the operations. Delta 6 8, that's where I am. Uh, which one, Ishmi? The, uh, don't chat in local or, um, Nats? Uh, it is, should be a rule that is stated, um, before missions. I believe it's in the op briefing for, uh, public players, but is stated... Uh, you do not talk in local comms uh, once you are dead. And down goes Lawn Darts. Right, this guy's chap taking another life with a uh, gimped BTR-80. Now, that is not to say you can't voice chat in Discord after the event. Uh, anyone that is dead and you are, you know, want to chat with people, you can chat in the Discord, but you can't do it in the game. Big difference there. And looks like Scottish has finally kicked himself out of the BTR-80. You're joking me. There's a bit of fuck. God damn it, Guardian. There's a bit of fuck in fucking buildings in Butter 6 Hell, we're going to attend that. Oh, poor Scottish. Hey, Rager. Let... Yes. Let Scottish know the radio is D684. D684, copy. 
So we've gotten to the point where we are stalled the round because there are only... Oh, I didn't notice that. <laughs> there are no one. There's no one, no Russians left. It is just Scottish. Oh boy, I failed at following those other two. One fucking smoke grenade. Well, never mind then. <laughs> yeah, Scottish does have a tendency of chatting to himself. Um, every now and then. It is perfectly normal. It is a coping mechanism. Uh, usually ends up with him dying because he is too busy chatting to himself than paying attention to his surroundings, but it's fun to watch. Hey, Scottish. Time to tactically eat. Yep, yep, I'm going to go. As, as long as you're able to secure the, the, that location, you are good. Oh! Oh! God, Scottish! Scottish! Oh my god, man! You missed every bullet! Why? Okay, well, GG round one, Scottish. <laughs> Cannot aim. Um, all right, we'll be back for round two shortly. Oh, God. Oh, no. Open field 200 meters away. And we're live. So... This round, if I'm not wrong, will probably consist of the Russian name joke, as they will definitely be rushing straight to the point. No holds bar, um, in some situations. Uh, seeing as they don't have any MTLBs or BTRs, at least I didn't see any. It's not over near Londart, so they might be over here. Nope, and we got a scout group for the U.S. already getting up in the face of the Russian forces here. Oh, and they're cutting it close. Dekrum. Dekrum. Hey, there's some Command, there. Command, Command, Down goes Krusty. Down goes Twix. Oh, man, they are just getting killed over here, slaughtered by the U.S. forward crew. Someone tosses a lad in, doesn't hit anyone. We've got a crew of the U.S. forces. Looks like they're going to try and find a way to get either next to or behind the Russian forces. Uh, looks like Seneca's down. Uh, Dekrum, not sure if he's on the run. And it looks like we may or may not have had a team kill via Udukin. Constant friendly shots, shots here. Don't have to cross unless you think you've got an opportunity to do so. And it looks like the U.S. forces have gotten alongside the Russians. Over here, let's go check on what's going over here. It looks like... Rubba is going to attempt to cross the railroad tracks. Not a lot of people looking off in this direction. So they might be able to make it. Uh, Taintless probably has an eye off. so Not quite blind just yet. Uh, what else have we got? Got the Russian crew in the back. Uh, uh, hasn't quite moved from the quarry. And we've got smoke inbound. Command six. I think I'm wrong. I don't think they took candy. They took uh, flour. Position. We don't have good positions to cover friendly. I done goofed in telling them what they were doing. We don't have that opportunity right now. We have no line of sight on the village. Yeah. Right, so the buildings to your west have windows that overlook the village. Command us four. Go ahead, four. We got fucked Deckram up here. Just uh, we're about a squad strength worth. Pulling it to take out people as he can. As many as he can. Be landing now on the map. Yeah, That'll get their attention. Grizzly and uh, Big Rago taking up positions if you want to stay there, I can, uh, drop some on the uh, train track and dirt road. Uh, we got contact to our west, Still the Russians um, to the south sure haven't quite made it yet. 
and Rubba's crew. What is going on over here? Oh, it looks like someone uh, had the unfortunate Where event of running exactly into um, tall building U.S. forces, Command as I will now five. refer to them as. Uh, I got a fire team reporting a enemy element in E6. They're moving to engage right now. Six TB USA. There we go. Square to your south. A from Command is five. That buddy pit don't have to dig them out. They can just uh, ambush them when they come back to try and reinforce the point. Hey, Russian sir. forces Is did not like seem to make a very good there? push here. Uh, and they are getting right, systematically destroyed over here in the first contact. Looks like they're going oh, Decrum get knocked? Yeah, looks like Decrum got knocked. I do not see him anywhere unless he pulled back into the town. Nope. So that leaves Grizzly Latte and Big Raga to take out Daddy Long Eggs. Command for two. Moving to the south, checking on the Russian forces pushing from the. Straight north. Uh, where, where, where? 120 meters. Because straight you? north. More smoke oh, yeah, inbound. I, they should have. I have no idea. I don't that's their so. second one coming Frost. down, so they have four more left. Go for Frost. You can have an element to your north that just wiped uh, three and four, so just be mindful of them coming back at some point. Yeah, Roger that. Roger. It's okay, Jack. We know you wanted your kill streak to be announced. It's okay. Don't deny it. <laughs> to be perfectly honest, I uh, have no clue who anyone is in uh, Twitch chats, even if your name does somewhat reference individuals within the community. I will not know who you are. Um, so, if you do want me to know who you are, I suggest applying your name when you uh try and make yeah, some yeah, obscure yeah, reference to me. Three times smoke left. I have enemies directly northeast of my position, uh within twenty. Roger, too. Command six. Go ahead, six. Oh, looks like we have an opening in their defenses right now. Really limited coverage on the east side of town. If we can get smokes in here, we might be able to push it. Roger, I'll drop it for you next. Is going on over here. Oop, too far. Is that one more up here? Fuck. Command for six, it'll be about another forty seconds plus for smoke. Oh yes, lawn darts with the uh, soothing radio style voice. Yep, yeah, I could see it. Yeah, a little creepy, but yeah, you do you. Roger, five. I'm behind. Watching geese. Five of them secure that building, and then we can focus more. I've got barbed wire. As for anyone wondering why they're just shooting that foot, there are rules in place that you must shoot someone on the side of the wall that they are on. You cannot shoot them via a clipping body part. Unless, of course, there is pin damage in the wall, at which then, yeah, go for it. Uh, no, not shooting the limb, but I mean shooting through the wall to kill them. Yeah, it looks like the Russian forces are doing some interesting things here on the 
Southwest actually making some form of foothold into the defensive zone. Smoke should be coming in for you. If you can Can't say that, so uh, much for the uh, northeastern. Building, one of the building, I got him down. Though. Got him down, copy. They can see him, yes. But you can only use it as an indicator that they, they are there. You cannot use it as a way to kill them. Well, if that makes sense. Two, good work getting up on them. Right. Two times smoke left if you need it to move. Go Just on. request it, let me know where to drop it. Copy. Did Charlie die? Yeah, Charlie's dead. If you guys need a nade to do it. We need to get out of here. Vulcan, get us out of here. Yeah. Alright, this building is not clear. Alright, smart kind of smoke coming in for the Russian forces to the northeast east. Hopefully they will take advantage of it and actually attempt to push into the town. Uh, but they might be held down by Ravi's crew in the uh, fort, fort high complex over there. Um, no, you see his feet out. You'll know they're in the room. You can use that knowledge, but you can't shoot the foot. You can't shoot, you can't use the foot as a way to, um, to kill them without actually coming in contact with them. Command, this is five. We're... Effective. We're gonna move west to meet up with two. Roger five. Anyone have an idea where the radio is? I suppose it's central in the town. Uh, I don't have an eye on radio, but uh, this building to my north is four to five. It's possible enemy is still in it. Roger. All right, ready? Go. I'm ready. Go. Let's hit this field from. Oh, yeah, we made it. No, I'm good. I'm good. Keep moving north through this field. Yeah, there's more smoke coming in. I believe that leaves them with two more smoke rounds before they are depleted. Not much you can do there, it's just the player model clipping through, um, through walls and whatnot. I guess they could make it so the body will scrunch up on walls and solid objects, but, um, there are things they could do about it, but that's like you, uh, um, hiding in a corner and someone sees the barrel of your gun. Yeah, we seem to die quick, we've got the same amount of damage. Does anyone hear or see a radio? And radio, if they're looking for it, is over here. That's where they seem to be concentrated. And, oh, wait. Right, man, I'm one effective. Roger. Okay, he's outside the building. Engaging targets to my northeast in that tan building. Welcome to the stream, Ballistic. Uh, currently, we are on round two of Operation Vic uh, Violent Valentine. And, uh... Watching the Russian forces get their yeah, the proverbial me. butts kicked in by the U.S. defensive team. Honestly, I feel like this op uh, favors the U.S. a bit when it comes to town defense. Um, but it also depends on how the Russian force uses the terrain to their advantage.
if it was me, I would smoke the front line, push the Russian forces all the way up into the first few houses, and just clear as fast as you could. But that usually doesn't work, um, depending on how good people are at CQC. Taking people like out. Three people left. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm pretty sure there's a guy in my two story. Yeah, he's walking around. They're just running around now. Fucking light up my two story when you get We got silent. And Gonzo guy. Is there anyone else? No, it looks like those are the last three left alive. And then Silence on his own. Gonzo guy is with three others in a house. Uh, he has not yeah, entered yeah, said building. Just... Yeah, he's just watching the angle. He definitely went south if you guys can hear him. And Nightmare is in the process of trying to clear his. Uh, what do you mean shoot the wooden roof? You mean um, shoot, use pin damage to kill someone? Yes, if the bullet can go through it, it counts as a kill. The issue is actually being able to kill someone doing that. Um, anything? And down goes Nightmare. Sunfish successfully defending his two-story, as Nightmare liked to put it. Uh, Gonzo Guy is the only one with... Nope, I take it back. Silent. No, nope. yeah, he's got no one around him. Alright, so Gonzo. Who is Silent shooting at? Is Silent using a house as a four point? Oh, that's that's an interesting way of doing it. Being in the back window and shooting all the way through the house to take out someone. Not bad. If you can get the angle to shoot through um, the wooden roof or wooden objects or anything that allows pin, uh, for your projectiles, then yes, feel free. As long as you know that there are no friendlies on that side, don't just do it and end up, uh, performing team kill. Also, it looks like Gonzo did not make it. No, he did take out one person, it looks like. Uh, this leaves, oh no, silent. Silent! Silent! Silence! Ah, oh, Fluffs. MVP for taking out Silent. Fluffs McGruffs. And if I'm not wrong, I believe that is everyone. Yep, that is GG for round two. Operation Violent Valentine. All right.